हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम डॉक्टर शैलेश कौशल डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ बिजनेस एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ लखनऊ लखनऊ डियर स्टूडेंट्स टुडे आई एम एक्सप्लेनिंग नॉन पैरामेट्रिक टेस्ट विल कॉक्सकॉन रैंक साइन टेस्ट फॉर टू डिपेंडेंट सैंपल सो एज वी नो नॉन पैरामेट्रिक टेस्ट आर एजुमसंस फ्री टेस्ट एंड वी डू नॉट चेक द नॉर्मलिटी एंड होमोजिनिटी ऑफ द डेटा इट मीन्स दिस टेस्ट आर डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन फ्री टेस्ट इफ माई डेटा नॉट नॉर्मल नॉट होमोजीनियस देन वी यूज नॉन पैरामेट्रिक टेस्ट सो वेन टू यूज नॉन पैरामेट्रिक टेस्ट वेन एजुमसंस of parametric tests are not met okay so the wilcox con rank sign test two dependent sample so we understand the concept of uh, the test that is wilcox con sign rank test so there are two test one is parametric test and second is non parametric test so i am explaining here wilcox con sign rank test this test equivalent to the pair t test so when should we use wilcox con sign rank test before understanding the concept of wilcox con sign rank test we should understand the concept of pair t test so the pair of t test we use when same participants same respondent observed two times means the pre test results and post test results okay for example the experiment is one week faculty development fdp faculty development program whether faculty development program enhance the motivation of uh, uh, participants or not so we can take 10 participants the serial number Uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and then we can uh, check the score of particular course okay for example research methodology the awareness of uh, regarding the research methodology the first participant score is 48 second 45 and so on so this is the pre test and after conducting the one week or two week faculty development program again we know the awareness of the part same participants the awareness level increase 56 57 and so on whether this difference the difference is significant or not so we check through the pair t test independent sample t test means we divide two mutually exclusive category same participants we can divide uh, the male participants and female participants but here we do not divide in two category same participants uh, observed two times whether they are male or female it doesn't matter so the paired t test can be applied only when we observed two times or the uh, participants may be patients okay patients so the before dose the score of the 10 patients and after dose the score of 10 patients whether the score is different significantly or not so we check through the pair t test but this pair t test it is parametric test and the parametric test we use when the assumptions of the parametric test 
should be fulfilled. So what is the main assumption? The main assumption of the parametric test data should be normally distributed. So here we check only normality. We cannot check the homogeneity of the data because we did not divide group into two. So we check the normality of the data means the two score pre-test and post-test and uh, we create another column that is difference of the pre-test and post-test. Okay. So we check the normality. For example, I am checking the five students data uh, like uh, this 50 and this is the pre-test, pre and post and second is 60, uh, 65, 55, 75 and uh, the 62, 72, 63, 73 and the difference is so what is 60 minus this 10, 5, 20 and then 10 and then 10. So we check the normality of this data, not this and this. We check the normality of this difference. Whether this difference is uh, normally distributed or not. Okay. So if it is not normal, then we use Wilcox-Con sign rank test, which is equivalent to the pair T test. So Wilcox-Con sign rank test uh, it is not new. It is same as the pair T test. But uh, why are we using Wilcox consign rank test? Because my data not normal. That is why I am using Wilcox consign rank test. It is same as pair T test. It is uh, measuring the impact of the particular phenomena means before uh, the manipulation and after the manipulation okay so the wilcox con sign rank test wilcox con rank sign test can be used before measure and post measure pre measure and post measure this is the before and after condition to compare two sets of score when the score come from the same participant. The condition is the participants, participants should be same. In case of the independent t-test, participants are not same. Because there are two mutually exclusive group in the independent t-test. But here we are not dividing the participants into two group. But we are measuring two times the same participants. So the case study stress it is related to the uh, the case study it is so I am showing you the case study this is case study you can see stress a neurologist might collect data to investigate the stress effect of certain drug she tested 10 clubbers in all and allowed to drink syrup only okay so the level of stress whether it reduce or not so the sector sunday she uh, obtained the score of the 10 participants the stress level is 16 15 20 and after three days continuously she uh, given uh, syrup to the 10 participant and after the three days the score uh, 15, 16 it reduced to 5, 15 reduced to 6, but this third participant score increased. So whether this difference is significant or not, whether this difference is significant or not, we check through the paired, uh, sorry, uh, wilcox con rank sign test. So this is the case study. Now uh, the case study you can see the data. This is my data set. 10 participant data. Sunday and 3 day experiment means giving syrup to the participants. And this one third column is score of uh, Wednesday. Okay. Of 10 participants. So how to frame the hypothesis uh, of uh, the 
this hypothesis of uh, wilcox condensing sign test means there is no significant impact of drip, uh, drink syrup on reducing stress it means there is no relation between the syrup and uh, this particular medicine and reducing the stress but alternate hypothesis says no there is a significant uh, impact of drink syrup on reducing stress okay now i am performing the uh, test wilcox von rank sign test so in the wilcox von rank sign test uh, analyze so i am not checking here assumption every time because uh, for non parametric test we do not uh, need to show the result of the uh, assumptions okay although we can check it so the this and this so the difference between the two we will create the new column and check the uh, normality of the data but i am performing the non parametric test analyze non parametric test so we can use uh, this uh, this uh, the related sample also so there are two way to perform the result so i will show you both methods so one is analyze non parametric test legacy dialog and two related samples okay and here both the variables means before and after we are transferring here and then by default we can see here will cox con and then okay and after okay this is result so what is the result so result is the you can see here the uh, z value that is minus 1.99 and this is p value p value less than 0.05 it means if we uh, give uh, syrup okay 3 days continuously to 10 parts spent uh the stress level significantly reduce this is my uh experiment so before experiment uh, there is some observation and after uh the experiment we observe same participants observations okay now the p value here 0.0 uh, less than 0.05 so there is a impact of this uh, uh, drug now how to present the result this is our result now i am showing you the result the the result the, this or uh, so here you you can write the depression it is not depression it is basically uh, the stress the stress level stress level was significantly lower the uh, for drink syrup user the stress level was significantly lower on wednesday because median value is 7.5 then sunday and z value uh, minus 1.99 and p value less than 0.05 it means there is a significant impact now we will write the median value here the median value the output this output did not give us the median value then how to get the median value of this both the data so analyze descriptive statistics and explore and the both the variables we are transferring here and by default it is statistics a uh, descriptive statistics and then continue and after continue okay now we will write the median value uh, for the pre test and post test what is the median value this 16 and the median value 7.5 so we will estimate the median value from uh, this way and then report median value in the result so this is the result so we will write the median here and 
median value for Wednesday and median value for Sunday and these two results Z and P we obtain from this output this is this output okay so thank you very much so this same case study from the book discovering a statistic using IBM SPSS thank you very much